Hi everybody, welcome to another Spark video. Welcome to 2022. Woohoo! <laughs> we made it. <laughs> so we are Oracle journaling today. This video is about looking at the year ahead. We are going to do a simple three card spread. Uh, you can do a lot of different spreads, a lot of very complex spreads on the year you, with, you know, monthly cards, daily cards, all those kinds of things. But for our purposes today, we are just doing a spread on this year, but we're just going to journal in very broad strokes today. So just, you know, looking at the overall energies. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so the three cards we're going to pull will be as follows in terms of, you know, their purpose. Um, our center card is going to be what is the overall energy of 2022? what will the year bring us so that that's what that center card is going to you're going to pull is going to bring okay the next the card on the left you're going to pull will be specifically what do we need to look at obstacles work ahead what are the more specifics of the energy of the year or the results of that you know card pull it may focus on internal work that we need to do for the year you know what's going to help us move forward um, with the energy that's around us which is that middle card okay you'll know when you pull it how that applies to you so you're just going to take a look we'll you know we'll get to that bit in a minute okay so our third card um, on the right is what will the future bring or what will be the outcome of those other two previous energies? So how do those two cards work together and what will the outcome be? Uh, what change or what could it bring us? You know, these poles are not set in stone. You know, we have free will, we have choice. You know, we could sit with our arms crossed all year and do nothing and, and that energy will just evaporate. So, you know, this is about, you know, using these cards as how to go forward in your life. You know, they could just be a guide or just kind of help us to reflect on ourselves and our goals and our dreams and give us some ideas about working towards the life we want. You know, that's the whole purpose of Oracle journaling for me. So, you know, that's how I use it at Spark. I know there's a million ways to use Oracle and Tarot, but for Spark purposes, generally we're going to be using them as a self-reflection tool. Um, so that's, so those are your three positions. Those are, you know, what each one will be. And now we will kind of choose our deck. Let's, let's have a look. So choosing a deck, first we need to decide on a deck, right? Or decks. I pulled three decks in this, uh, for this pull. I pulled a deck for each position. If you have one deck, that's fine. That's all you need. If you are a deck obsessor collector, such as myself, you have some decisions to make. Let your mind just quiet down. I would choose what you are drawn to or what pops up in your mind. If a particular deck pops up to you, that's a, a pretty strong indication that that's a deck you should use. Um, I would look at what you are asking. You know, we're looking at a, the overall year, so that's pretty big energy, pretty broad energy. Look at look um, for decks you've worked with. If you have decks that you work really well with, you resonate really well with, and they work for you, pull those. Um, you also might want to think about decks that are broader based, like some of the guidebooks are a little broader based. You know, they look at energies in more broad strokes because we are looking at the whole year. You can go with favorite decks, you know, decks you resonate with. If you want a, a theme to your pull and you want all animal decks or something, that's absolutely fine. Whatever you are pulled towards for starting the new year, that's your deck that you pull or decks. Okay, onward, here we go. So to start your journaling, sit somewhere comfortable, prepare your space, bring in things that make you happy, that help you focus and enjoy the space around you. Uh, get your notebook or whatever you are going to work in. I made my own specific tarot and oracle journaling, as you can see, uh, so I can keep track of my journey 
you know, keep track of things specifically that are, you know, uh, my tarot and oracle reads. I date every entry. I put the decks and cards I use and any information, any other information right in the journaling entry. I have a little um, HP Sprocket Plus. You'll notice like some of the, as I'm flipping through some of the, uh, you'll see images on some of the pages. Um, and that's a, just a teeny tiny little printer. And I take pictures on my phone and send them to the Sprocket printer and the backs of them are adhesive. So I just pop them right in the journal. And that's, that's kind of a fun thing. And it helps me remember what the deck was, what the feeling was around. And it's just fun to look back and see where you were days, weeks, or years later. So to get started with the journaling piece, take your first deck and shuffle. Take your time. Um, when you're ready, cut the deck and pull your card. Spend a little time just looking at the card and see what impressions come. Then do the same and pull your card on the left and on the right and just take your time and shuffling and cutting. And when you get all three cards in place, just sit with the impressions of those cards for a bit and see how it is relevant to your current state of mind, to your current situation, for any intentions you came in with, and just what's going on in general with you. Then at that point, I go to the guidebooks and just see if there's anything extra that resonates with me? Does it bring up something I haven't thought of or add depth to an area I'm working on? Just kind of look through your guidebooks. Do that for each card and be journaling through that process. So writing anything that sticks out to you, anything that comes to mind, anything that resonates, write it all down and really take your time with this. List the cards and then start, I list each card and then start writing with the impressions and, and the oracles, the um, guidebook stuff and all of that. So just list each card and start writing and journaling. How it's relevant, what it's telling you, what did you learn from this particular card that popped up? And you're gonna do that for all three of them. You know, how does it relate to your life experience or things for the future? You know, write it all out for each card. And then when you are done with each card individually and you've used your guidebook for any extra guidance, bring the three cards together in your mind. How do they fit together? What are the crossovers between cards? Um, were there any reoccurring themes with each card that resonate with you? How do they connect together? continue to write about these cards, you know, how they work together. Don't censor yourself. Don't judge yourself. Just keep writing what comes to you and what's useful to you. And you know what? It's funny. Even if, if something seems silly or insignificant, write it down. It's amazing when you look back, you things you may have thought were unimportant or silly or whatever may be just the opposite. So write until you feel there's no more to say, till the energy kind of starts to die down and you're like, okay, I got it, you know. This can take several pages, just keep going. Then at the end, write a few general impressions or takeaways. Things you want to focus on or integrate into the top of your head and just anything else that you feel is important. And there you go, that's it, it's that simple. Nice work. <laughs> this is a really fun, encouraging way to get started in the year ahead. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for so spending time with me. Thank you for being a part of Spark. Take care and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.